Hey everybody, and welcome to Dirt Four. Rallycross features high-pressure, high-adrenaline circuit races held in motorsport arenas in front of large crowds. You must control vehicles ranging from Super 1600s to the almighty supercars. You need to take a Joker lap at least once per race, and you will have a spotter who will help you decide when to take it so that you can come out on top. Rallycross events are composed of qualifying heats, semi-finals and finals. Sixteen opponents and mixed surfaces stand between you and the top step of the podium. There will be contact. Damage can be repaired after every race, but you'll need to keep the car together over the whole event. And in case you didn't know, we are going to do some Rallycross today. Uh, which is totally different than anything that I've done before in the sense that it is an actual race and we aren't just doing a time trial. Uh, if you didn't get that out of the uh, if you didn't get that out of the uh, wonderful man explaining things to you then that's that's what it is. Uh, we are going to be competing on a team, not the one that we've been using up to this point, but a separate team that the uh, game creates for us. Which is great because that way we can uh, jump right into uh, events without having to worry about whether or not we have the money to do so, uh, which is always a little bit uh, always a little bit shaky. Uh, so this is just showing what the track looks like. I kind of leave the, leave this run sometimes a little bit to take a look and see where the Joker lap is. Uh, you do have to you have to take a Joker lap, which is a uh, Basically, all you do is there's one lap that is as you go along here. It looks like they're explaining it. If you miss it, you'll get a time penalty. Almost time. Let's go out fighting today. Ready. So it seems like the strategy with taking the Joker lap can be different depending on the track and your position on it. Uh, it seems like if you do pretty well, if you get out there in first place uh, right off or at least top uh, three or four, uh, you're going to want to take that Joker lap pretty, uh, pretty quickly. And if you're kind of lagging behind and you're not, you know, you're not really doing very well, you might want to wait uh, and take the Joker lap when you are doing a little bit better. Uh, at least that is kind of what I've gleaned from the entire process. Uh, it can be uh, different depending on the track and depending on what you decide to do, but in general, it seems like that is what you want to look for. Uh, and because these other cars, you know, everybody has to take it. So that way, um, there is a parity that way. It's a, just a matter of, uh, the strategy that you, uh, you know, that, that you have, uh, in when you take it and, um, you know, when you take it in the race. I find it to be interesting. I like the idea of it. It is a bit... Uh, annoying on the whole, but uh, I would say that it is in an interesting concept and uh, definitely makes these races uh, more interesting than they would have been in the past, where it was just a normal, uh, you know, just a normal race basically against other cars and against other AI. Stewards have given you a time penalty for exceeding track limits.
I would say in general these um, rallycross races are very long in comparison to the other ones um, when you take on one of these you are taking on um, various uh, I believe it's four in all uh, so you're taking on four different races the the uh, qualifying, the semifinals, and then the finals. And each one of them are multiple laps, and therefore, you know, like this one is six laps. It is a shorter track, but even so, six laps is six laps. So unlike a race like in Forza or something like that, this isn't going to be something you just jump into, kind of a bite-sized thing where you can... You know, do a couple of races and then drop out and, you know, come back to it later on. Um, I don't know exactly how you would drop out of this without retiring, which would, of course, uh, you know, destroy your position in the in thing and everything. I think that once you start this, you actually have to commit to finishing the whole event. Uh, so obviously, if you are going to be doing this, uh, you're going to bear that in mind. Uh, I didn't really get anything out of the spotter. Uh, the spotter is, you know, chiming in here and there, and uh, I didn't really get anything out, out of that. Uh, you can't cut corners like that. You will, uh, you will get a penalty, but uh, if you win, it doesn't make any difference, really. You just get uh, docked some money. So it doesn't change your position or anything like that. It just, uh, they just uh, dock you. And also, in this case, the sponsor did not want me to uh, incur any penalties, which uh, I didn't realize. Uh, well, I did realize it, but I didn't realize I would be docked for the penalty because I didn't realize I was committing a penalty. Uh, nobody says anything about it until the end, so um, that was a bit unfortunate. So just make sure don't you know don't cut corners and that kind of stuff, and you'll be fine. the joker lap to your advantage you only need to take it once if you miss it you'll get a time penalty right there is a slight delay but you could go any second so keep focused keep your head down get ready So yeah, um, things have been going pretty well with uh, with this. Uh, I was hoping to uh, get this up yesterday, but I decided to kind of mix it up and put a bunch of other stuff up because uh, I had the opportunity to. Don't get used to me putting up three videos in a day because it's not going to happen. That's really, I had the time and I had the videos, so I did it, but... Uh, 
I do not, that is just too much for me uh, to do on a normal basis. Um, I mean, with any kind of frequency at all, there's just no way I would be able to do that. Um, it is very difficult to do um, in the sense that it's a lot of, you know, basically I'm, I'm editing, putting on the audio, and then uh, uploading it. And, you know, between the edit and the audio and between the audio and the upload, I have two renders, which take a long time. And then I have to wait, obviously, for the thing to upload. Uh, because for whatever reason, my PC does not want to upload and do video editing at the same time. I do not understand it. I don't. Un I don't get it. But I've occur I've incurred more errors uh, during the editing process um, than I care to uh, expand upon uh, when I've been trying to upload something. So I don't know what the deal is with it. I don't. I don't get it. Uh, it certainly shouldn't take that many processes to. Um, upload something but apparently it takes just enough to screw with my computer so hopefully when I get the new computer which won't be too long from now uh, I won't have half of these issues and you guys will in fact be getting more videos going up at a time as opposed to uh, what we have going on now but uh, you know in general it seems like it's it's fine I don't really feel like I'm doing anybody too big of a disservice doing it the way I'm doing it now um, it takes so long for the videos to actually get to be searchable and people to watch them and everything else that it doesn't seem like doing more than one video a day is actually worth it the second position at the moment. Once the rest have done their joke, I reckon we'll be fighting for second. Second place looks like where we'll end up when four drivers have taken their joker.
Nice try. You did great. Use the Joker lap to your advantage. You only need to take it once. If you miss it, you'll get a time penalty. Okay, eyes on the track. Lights about to go. Have a good race. Ready to race. Once the rest have done their joker, I reckon we'll be fighting for third. Once the rest have done their joker, I reckon we'll be fighting for second. Nice try. You did great. Once the rest of Joker, I reckon we'll be fighting for four. Keep an eye out for a car on the line exiting the Joker.
Alright, so we're coming to the end of this video very shortly. Uh, I did kind of keep the commentary here to a minimum because I didn't want to compete with the uh, compete with the game too much. Uh, but uh, and it is kind of straightforward. I'm just going around a track. Um, I did talk about my strategy with the Joker lap and all that stuff. Uh, that's pretty much you know the long and the short of it. Um, I probably will be doing at least one more video for Rallycross. Um, but maybe not. Uh, I have not decided how I'm going to do this yet. I am thinking about maybe doing the next video at, uh, as Land Rush and then uh, closing out this series uh, and moving on to something else because obviously uh, there is going to be a lot of stuff coming out very shortly and uh, I need to free up some time. Uh, especially due to the fact that I am so behind on um, Horizon Zero Dawn that I really need to catch up with that. So having a uh, completely free, uh, another completely free space in getting the, some stuff uh, up and taken care of would be really good. So uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, the next video you watch might be the Land Rush one. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, if you uh, did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new around here, make sure you hit the subscribe button on your way out. Uh, all that stuff does help, and it helps me put out more videos more often. So... Really appreciate it if you would do that. Thank you very much. And uh, I will talk to you guys later. Thank you for watching, as always. And um, that's going to do it for me. Bye.